if if I'm gonna do this intro right, I kind of need my skeleton horse. Where where on earth did I put my skeleton horse? <gasps> skeleton horse! Welcome, ladies, gentlemen, and gamers, to another episode from Lorecraft. I am super excited to be here. I hope you guys are as well. And we got a lot of plans going on today. Skeleton horse, you can stay here. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be working on the religion side of the fire village. Now, there is mostly science. They're studying it. How do explosions work? How do fire work? How does all of these things happen naturally? But there's also the religious side where they're going to be celebrating it. They're going to be trying to be joyful and kind of, I guess, make an idol out of fire. And we're going to be doing that by making a fire shrine today. We're going to be starting that off with a fire shrine. Most likely going to be right here on this hilltop. We're going to do a little bit of terraforming, make it all nice and pretty. And we're going to kind of get to work. Oh, well, what's my F3 look like? Yep, my milliseconds per tick. It's still not below 50, but hey, you know, things happen. But... No, everything should be good. Everything should be fun. And we're going to be working on that. But we're also going to be talking about some things on the channel. Because I want some opinions. But before any of that, I say let's go to sleep. And let's start doing some work. Alright. Alright. Welcome back, guys. So we got the terraforming all done. And I thought I would say apologize for it being a shorter episode. But unfortunately, I am coming down with something. And I can't talk for too, too long, unfortunately. That is one too high. But we're putting in something here that's going to be a little interesting. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and a seven. Um, we want this shrine to kind of be something unique at least. And the way I'm going to try to accomplish this is by adding in something to kind of go around it. That is interesting. So one, two, three, four, and five. Then two then i think maybe another two one two three four and five mm, i'm gonna need some some pillaring blocks aren't i didn't think about this part because i wanted to overhang some too how's that shape look looks all right that's way too long <laughs> that is what did i oh i know what i did i know what i did all right um ender pearl magic stuffs yeah thank you all right so it's one two three four five <laughs> now i'm worried that i messed all this up let me see one two three and it's supposed to go up no it's not yeah i messed up a lot of this whoopsie doodles belt's up pretty high um, so there's the two, another two, and then one, two, three, four, five. All right. That is a bit better, I think. Yeah, that's better. I'm gonna, I want to put this first one in all the way with you guys, and then I'm going to put in the other three and show you like, hey, it's pretty cool what you can do with stone bricks. <laughs> It's, it's pretty simple, but it's pretty cool what you can do with stone bricks. Wow, this is tall. This is taller than I was expecting it to be. But it'll look good. And let's go up by two. Then out by one. And bring it down. Get rid of our little pillar, because this is going to be definitely in the way of our view. Alrighty. Let's take a quick look at this. Yeah, that's the shape I want. Almost looks like a snake, or a dragon, or a snake. But, I'm going to put in the other three, we're going to talk about what I want to talk about at the beginning of the episode, and then, stuff. Alrighty guys, so we got the basic shape, and this is just to hold the fire that's going to be in the middle. And it looks alright, I might change these up a little bit, because I'm kind of getting a bit of a pineapple vibe here, and that is not the goal. But, I say what we need to do is we probably need to get the the base of this thing going so i'm gonna guess something like that yeah and then one in between all right this feels pretty good but i want to talk to you guys so recently as some of you may know i'm trying to go daily and i want to ask you guys do you want me to go daily because i've been looking at the 
the numbers, looking at the stats, looking at the stat page, looking at the spreadsheets. And it's kind of suggesting that you guys can kind of take it or leave it. And I'll be honest, if that's how it is, I'm not going to work myself silly trying to put out content that you guys are kind of not really gung-ho I guess is a way to say it about uh viewing so I don't want to basically be like hey put in all this work effort good everything looks great and for you guys to go yeah that's nice but you didn't really need to do that somebody we appreciate it but it wasn't wasn't needed so I just want to ask you guys' opinion you guys know the answer I don't so you guys do you guys want me to try to continue to do dailies or do you want me to slow down smell the daisies up to you guys but just so you know if it does slow down um probably going to be combining um the house and boat series as in like one week it's a house one week it's a boat um and also what do you guys feel about more lore craft how do you guys feel about that i feel like that's a solid piece we, we need cobblestone balls but that's a solid piece but seriously do you guys want more more lore craft hmm? Hmm? just let me know okay I feel like this is looking alright. That's a good base for the fire. It's supposed to be just like an eternal fire. So it doesn't have to be like the world's largest, most encompassing fire, but an eternal fire. So I'm going to go get more detailing blocks for this base and we'll get to work. Alright guys, so what do you think? I, I like the regress detail of these little poking out. Maybe, maybe there needs to be something on these. I'm not entirely sure. I'm something screaming torches like something just as basic as torches but uh i should have brought actual blocks <laughs> to be able to get up there oh well can't find a way you make a way there we are and then ooh, i guess well in all honesty this is where the flame's gonna start anyway so Alrighty guys, so this is how it is looking and I actually have a little bit of homework for you guys. That's right, it's homework time. You see the ends of these? If you can make a good dragon design, I will use it, I will credit you, I will give you a shout out if you have a YouTube channel. If you do not, or if you just simply prefer, I will name one of the builds after you. But if you have a good dragon design for the end of these, I would love to use it. The Discord link is down below, you could submit them there, but there is a five a two and then a two going up and down you could put a dragon head on the end of that or a really nice kind of decoration doesn't really matter what that isn't massive i will use it but some of you might have been shouting this entire episode somebody you said every build in this area was going to be diagonal no i said every building was going to be diagonal is that a building exactly so that's why it's not diagonal but we do have something to do. Hang on, let me set this up. This is where we're going to be doing birch burnings from here on out. I mean, the eternal flame is engulfing the birch wood. It is accepting our sacrifice and will bring holy fire down upon us for offering something so vile. Um, I don't know. But, 
It's definitely a nice little bit of scenery to be able to do. Ooh, no, burnt. But thank you guys so much for coming out. I always appreciate that you guys are able to make it out. It's a lot of fun. Ooh, ooh. You know what? Thumbnail's gonna be different this week. It's just gonna be the one shot. Oh, yeah. I'm happy with that. Oh. But, hope you guys enjoyed. And I will catch you guys back here sometime soon with the next one. And with the skin fixed. <laughs> Goodbye. What a wonderful world.